Hello, you beautiful people. It's Toothy, Tooth Decay. So, hopefully, you've seen some of our, our Gwyneth Gwyn videos from Gran Canaria, and you know we had a great time. But there's something I've held back on until now. Look, holidays are expensive, right? A lot of us save up all year to go away, and with, with the way things are right now with cost of living, a lot of people can't afford to put food on the table or heat the house, let alone think about going away, so it is a privilege. We didn't get what we paid for on our Airbnb, and you'll see that really clearly from everything I'm going to put up today. If we could have left real photos of the villa um, that we got compared to the ones that were advertised in our review on Airbnb, then I probably would have left it there, but I can't. I've, Airbnb doesn't allow you to do that, and I'm not comfortable with that. You know, you think you might be going get, getting a, an Airbnb abroad, it's going to be a nice cheap week, and then you get something completely different from what you've seen in the pictures. And while Airbnb helped, they didn't help that much, and I had to argue to get what we thought was fair. It wasn't a great experience, but we didn't want to ruin our holiday either. And, you know, the host was a little bit of a fruit loop, so I just wanted to put up some facts. Um, some pictures, videos, the evidence, just to show you folks, you know, that be a little bit careful when you're booking an Airbnb. So here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to show you a quick walk around video critiquing the villa. And then I'm going to show you some of the pictures from the host's Airbnb advert and compare those directly with the reality, the pictures that I took. So that'll be the facts versus fiction section. Then I'm going to put up a host of other pictures to try and convey the sense of neglect, you know, a dink here and there nobody cares about. But when there is so much wrong, rotten wood, filthy plastic overhangs, marks on all the walls, cracked tiles, dirty fans with no front cages, pipes hanging out of the walls, leaking showers, no light bulb replacement making the downstairs really dingy, a dented front door lock that we had to fix ourselves so we could lock the door one night. All of it together, the cumulative effect, it just leads to this overwhelming sense of staying in a property that just isn't cared for. There's no TLC, uh, there's no love for this property. And you know, when you, you pay good money for it and you're expecting something completely different, so that, that sense of overall neglect. And then I'll show you the messages with the host, Paul, throughout the week and up to the point of escalation to Airbnb support. I won't leave anything out, not even the one where I call him a moron. Do I feel a bit ashamed about that? Yeah, kind of. Did it make me feel better at the time? Fuck yes, it did. So that'll be the comms with a host. And then I'm going to put the, you know, the, the messages up with Airbnb support so you can see if we actually got compensation or not. And let me just say, this was never about the money. I don't really care what things cost as long as I'm not getting ripped off and they represent good value. In this case, I felt ripped off. It wasn't good value for money because the Airbnb system doesn't allow me to post up real pictures with my reviews and I needed an outlet for the injustice and this is it, this video is it. People deserve to know what they are getting for their money and not what they might have got had they booked the villa 10 years ago before it fell into disrepute. So finally I'm going to share my review, uh, my direct review on Airbnb of Paul's Place um, that I posted to, to that review centre, and then also his scathing review of me as a guest. After that, it's over to you, in true Reddit style, once I've showed you everything, you can decide. Am I the arsehole? If you think so, let me know in the comments. Alright, so this is what happens to the trip switches when you turn on the hot tub. Um, they just go off completely. We've switched it back off again now, so I'm just going to reset those because the fans have gone off and the Wi-Fi has gone off as well. <coughs> Gonna take you upstairs now, so you can just see the state of the other pool. You actually have to go through one of the bedrooms to get to the swimming pool. So you can see, this one's ripped, this one's ripped, and of the other two, this one is also ripped. So in fairness, if me or my mates sat on any of those, we're gonna go straight through them. Here's the pool. So this was touted as being four meters by four meters. You can see the filth around the outside. 
me and my mate took the two paddles this morning and after about 20 minutes realised we ain't going to get all the gunk out of it. The water just really didn't look like we wanted to get in there. So, highlights of this property for us were that we had a barbecue area, <coughs> somewhere where we could lie out in the sun, a pool we could go into, a hot tub we could use, and we can't use the hot tub, we can't use the pool. <coughs> the other thing that we liked was that we had a shut down. The other thing that we liked was that there was a barbecue as well so unfortunately the barbecue is filthy from either the last guests or the last few guests having used it and there's no barbecue brush to be able to clean it so this is what passes for a barbecue. Let me just take this cover off. And you can see there, all the food and grease scum from other people. Not much we can do about that, but we plan to stay away and have a good few nights at the villa, being able to use the jacuzzi, use the hot tub I mean, have a few barbecues, use the pool, lay out. And this is kind of what we met with. So in there I'm gonna try and zoom in so you can see it. It's just filth and dirt all over it. Um, again, and if you try and use, like I said, if you try and turn it on the switch is actually in that corner over there it plugs in I'll show you where it plugs in plugs into a panel in the kitchen so that wire comes in through there runs all along this trunking up here and comes down to this wall and that's the plug for it And as soon as you turn it on, like I said, it just trips it. So, property with a hot tub can't be used. A pool we don't want to use because it's filthy. Um, a barbecue that we'd love to use, but we can't clean because it's filthy as well. Um, and sun lounges that we can't lie out on. And for four of us, we paid £888. All right then folks, let's get into the fact versus fiction. This is the actual Airbnb advert that we saw and paid for. Look at that lovely hot tub, all lit up at night, beautiful. You think you're gonna get in there, have a couple of beers in the daytime, get a bottle of champers on the go. Very nice, you know, four of us in there having a laugh and a giggle, and then this is, this is what we've really got. Um, it's just filthy. It, it's dated, it's tired, it's, it, I just didn't, we, we didn't want to get in it. Um, the only time that anyone got in it was to stand in it because you have to stand in it to turn the, the switch on on the other side of it. Um, we weren't we weren't happy uh, with, with that at all. This is what they said the outside of the villa looked like. You know, you've got a parking space there and everything. This is the reality. It's a shithole. It's full of old building materials. There's crap everywhere. You've got those tarpaulins covering half of it up. Um, there's bags of rubbish and rubble there. It, it just it just looked like a complete crap hole um, Not not like what the pictures showed whatsoever And look if that again if that was just the only thing then fine, but it's not there's loads of stuff You'd have a bit of this wouldn't you you jump in that pool and you wouldn't jump in that one mate I'm telling you look at look at how filthy it is look at the rust this this don't even exist 
that's where that that sort of red table thing was it's not there at all so you got a picture of like this this sort of dining out on the thing no nah, not there here we go with the, the um the sun loungers lying out all of them three three out of four were ripped you know me and me mate are heavy guys we would have gone straight through those if we'd have sat down on them um weren't weren't happy with that whatsoever uh you just just made it unusable again like like most of the stuff here um again this looks beautiful right couple of lovely little seats there some cushions in a little sun trap this is what you actually got they probably are about 10 years old faded from the sun no cushions this downstairs right they've got eight light bulbs that aren't be haven't been replaced in the ceiling and it just makes it really dingy the ceiling is probably about 20 foot so we couldn't get up there to even put some in for ourselves but it's not like that they've just blown they've been taken out and not replaced and there you can see the the fans with no cages on the front um you know why why wouldn't you put light bulbs in a, in a dark and dingy sort of basement like that Th that looks like a beautiful bathroom unfortunately the sink leaked um there was pipes hanging out of the wall in here there was filth all the way around the corners um it, it was uh, yeah and we had roaches in there on more than one occasion um i know i know you get roaches over there don't get me wrong but there was quite a few this is the barbecue would you really want to cook on a barbecue that somebody else has left all their food scum on um and there weren't no barbecue brush so we couldn't even clean it ourselves there's another fan and no cage on it and you can see the filth on the back of it um, where it's just been sucked through over the years and never cleans uh, just just it's just thing after thing chip tiles again by themselves you wouldn't moan about it but it's that overall sense of neglect these these were everywhere um you know you, you just got dinks that's the front door we had to we had to bend that out of the way so we could lock the door to go to bed one night looks like some fat gets sat on that i don't know how that happens but again it's just nobody cares you've got like bits and bits missing out of the, the windowsills um you know the, the, this is the mirror downstairs in the bathroom it's it's just crudded up you know that's the the shower um how many times has that been repaired and not done properly that's a filthy plastic overhang that should be clear and it's it's not it's just horrible that's uh, above the shower so you know it's it's just been left to go over the years you got all this crap and, and shite in there that was like dust you can move that all of the walls everywhere you look there are marks on them uh, uh you know all or, or chips out of them a, a lick of paint and a bit of polyfiller for Christ's sake, you know. Look at look at the state of that. It don't take much. I'm, I know I'm having a right old rant now, and and I, I don't mean to be such a moany old git, but come on, folks, this is like everywhere. It it just felt. It, do you know what? If we'd have seen this in the pictures, then I, I may I may still have gone for it. I may not. I don't know. I'm certain. No, actually, I wouldn't not with a pool and the um, the 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 hot tub the way they were, but. Uh, I wouldn't have paid this for it and um the what gets me more is we didn't know what we were getting um we thought we were getting a beautiful place and we ended up with with this crap oh look at that it's just rotten rotten mate i'm telling you so look here's all the comms i'm gonna shut up for a minute now and just let you uh, this let you read these i put five seconds on every message um so if you're not interested you can zip through to the end um if not you might want to pause them to, to read through them um, but you'll see uh, just how he, he sort of degenerates towards uh, the end of the week. Actually, it was the first time that I, I sort of put a framework down and asked him for uh, a refund for all the things that were wrong. And he, he absolutely flipped his lid at me. Um, I, I just can't can't describe it. Um, but anyway, look, that's that's my view. I'll let you make your own minds up.
so you can see that went down faster than a fat kid on a seesaw right um so here's the message with airbnb support like i said i had to argue back a little bit um they, they were doing the bare minimum but yeah all right we got about 26 percent back at, at the end of the day we had to show them all the pictures and everything um this is why we didn't do it until we moved out you know we didn't want paul to boot us out um and we we didn't want to sit there on our holiday having a big argument so you know we, we sort of recorded it all through the week and then asked for what i thought was a, a reasonable discount and he lost it and then airbnb came back pretty quickly as it goes um they'd agreed the refunds but by the time we got to the airport um which we had to spend nine hours at by the way because we couldn't uh couldn't leave our cases anywhere so yeah we, we ended up with a 26 uh, percent refund on our 888 pounds um fee so look there's what we paid here's the uh my, my review of paul and paul's review of me um and look that's that's about it folks i just really wanted to to put something out there because airbnb looks great when you're looking at the website and i've had good experiences with them before but the fact that you can't put up pictures to let other people know what they're really getting i've i've never noticed it before until something went wrong so i just wanted to throw it out as a word of caution and actually if something does go wrong you can you know you, you can do stuff to get your money back and they weren't bad at doing it all right latest potatoes off your pop <laughs>